Hello friends, do you want to earn 25,000 rupees by working only 10 minutes a day? Are your friends earning lakhs of rupees? All you need to do is type a bunch of stuff and earn more than them. Are you sitting at zero and want to become hero? Welcome to Nero Part-Time Jobs. Here, by simply doing a bunch of stuff, no skill required, no computer also required, you can do it on your phone, you can earn a lot of money. This is the best data entry job possible. Click on the link below or call this number to start your journey immediately. Hustle mode on. Hello? Hey, chote. What work have you given here? Huh? It's all inaccurate work. Sir, sir, you have caused irreparable damage to my company. And I have signatures on a piece of legal paper. You understand what I'm saying, huh? Sir, sir. You understand? Sir, sorry, 15, sir. 15,000 rupees I need back according to the agreement. You understand? Sir, 15, sir. 15,000, yes, you owe me. I'll I, sue you. Sir, I don't have that you. much money, sir. I don't have. I am suing you. Whew. Okay. Something was definitely not right with that conversation. I mean, part-time jobs and side hustles are absolutely fine. But sometimes, well, 56% of the times, every job seeker comes across some kind of scam. So we thought, why don't we talk about two of the most famous kinds of scams that will blow your mind and we'll also do a checklist. So let's talk about the good, the bad, because no one else will. So all part-time jobs and side hustles are not fake. Obviously, there are a lot of legit jobs out there that you should explore, but some of them are scams. And we've picked the most popular scam to start with. Number one, all these scams are actually placed in websites which are legit. So you'll see them as Google-sponsored ads in search results. You'll also go to legit job websites and you'll see them there, even classified listings. So when you actually see the job, it's not on a different website. It's on a normal website where you do find nice, good, legal jobs. So this one appears to also be legal. Now within the part-time jobs universe, there is one job that stands out. The typing job. The typing job seems easy to do and they make it easier by saying work for 15 minutes, take home 25,000 rupees, easy peasy. And all you have to do is do data entry. Now what's data entry? They will give you a database and you have to enter that somewhere else and do some kind of typing. There is a large data dump that you need to look and type and you are paid per page, per word or per hour for this work. Next, the unsuspecting user signs up and begins his journey. But before that, they have a contract that shh, no one ever really knows that it exists. During the sign up process, all they say is they say, dude, simply do a signature and take a photo and send that photo to us. And the scamsters take that photograph like so, and take it, paste it on this agreement, making it look like you actually signed it. But it was simply just a photograph. Now this agreement contains something vile, something scary. The first thing this contract contains is that you have to be employed for nine months or 11 months. Doesn't sound too bad. The second point says, you have to have 90% accuracy in the submitted work. Also sounds okay until you read the next line, which says, otherwise, user will be liable to pay rupees 15,000 rupees. Now, the problem here is, since there's no real way to verify whether the accuracy was 90% or 80%, the scamster simply says, you've signed a contract, here it is, you owe me 15,000 rupees. In most cases, people get really scared and pay that 15,000 rupees, letting go of their hard-earned money. And in many cases, they have to borrow this because the scamster says, we will run a case on you. We will go against you. We will go with all our might because you have a legal binding contract. 
Of course, no, no one can force you into a legal contract like this, especially taking a photo and pasting on it. These are just scare tactics. People get scared and end up paying. And they also say if you want to go to court with us, it's completely fine. A court case will cost multiple lakh rupees, so you might as well pay the fine of 15,000, like we agreed on the agreement. Now, once the victim has paid 15,000 rupees, we'll think the job is now over and he can run away and start looking for a new job. But the scam doesn't end here. The scamster calls him again and says, hey, look back at the contract. Remember, you signed saying you will be employed for nine months or 11 months. So you can't leave right now. If you want to leave, guess what? You've got to pay another 50,000 rupees. I am not making this up. Look at all of these headlines over here talking about this scam. That was scam number one. Now time for scam number two. But this one is slightly different. In this one, things become even more complicated. And I think a little bit funner too. In this situation, we have the same victim. He looks happy and desperately wants money. So the first thing he gets, he gets a message. And the message says, Hello there, do you want to earn money? If you do, all you have to do is take screenshots and like YouTube videos. For every like, we'll give you 50 rupees. So, a little confused, he says, Ticket, let me like three videos, take the screenshot, and send it in the group. The scamsters say, Can you give me your UPI ID? And he scam, no. He actually receives 150 rupees for doing this simple task. Yes! Now he thinks he has a source of income, a place to make all of his family proud. He inquires further. Thank you, I worked very hard for this. But I don't want 150 rupees, I want 15,000. What should I do? This is, uh, you know, very difficult. I'm a hard worker. The scamster says, no worries. For hustlers like you, we have a new group. Click here and join the group. The victim joins the group. And over here, there are 20 members. And this hustler's group promises lots of riches. But of course, the victim is a little skeptical until he sees messages. The messages are real screenshots of bank accounts. Receiving cash from 50,000 to 2 lakh rupees. People celebrating, partying, happy, thanking the admin for spreading wealth and knowledge of this secret cave which he is now a part of. He is totally a chambit. This builds a lot of confidence obviously because other people are just like him. They are also hustlers. So he says, okay, how do I begin my journey? The admin says, it's simple. Click on this link, here's a username and password and log in on a website. He does that and sees a beautiful crypto platform. The UI is shiny, it looks beautiful, the data is moving in real time and he says, now I think I found my treasure. And he deposits 5,000 rupees in the account and the admin says, buy these two cryptos and sell them. He does this, it takes a full day, but he's at it and he earns 1,000 rupees just like that. He thanks the admin, goes back to the group, sends a screenshot and says, I'm still new here, it's only 1,000, but I will reach lakhs of rupees. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But the scam is just getting started. You see his confidence, his chest is coming out. He's looking up. He looks like he can do this and he deposits 10,000 rupees, all the money he's ever earned and does the same thing and earns another 5,000 bucks. And finally, he tells all his friends, borrows money from them, his family borrows cash from them and deposits 5 lakh rupees. Come on, this is it. Game face on. The victim this time loses the money. It's a little scary. The heart pounds. People in the group say, it's okay. You're a businessman. Kabhi kabhi, eh hota hai. It's, it's fine. He says, it's fine. I will recover the money. He lost this time, but it's okay. The admin says, trust me. I've been doing this for a long time. I care for you. After all, you've earned before us. It's okay. This time, he borrows a little bit more money and deposits 10 lakhs. His heart is pounding, 
बट ऑल ऑफ हिज फ्रेंड्स इन द टेलीग्राम ग्रुप से इट्स ओके भाई विल बी फाइन एंड ही स्टार्ट टू ट्रेड द मार्केट्स आर मूविंग ही लूज इज अ लिटल बिट बट ही नोज इट्स गॉन अ गो अप एंड दिस टाइम इट्स गॉन हीज लॉस्ट ही सेज नाउ वॉट There surely must be a way. I mean, he can't lose all this money. He's borrowed it from people, and he's a he's a hard worker. So he asks the admin. He asks the admin. The admin has blocked him, and he goes to the website. The website doesn't exist. He just got scammed. This scam is called the bait, and the bait simply means that they will win your trust using testimonials and money before they scam you for the real amount. So, I guess the scammers do invest some money to earn a big amount. So, recalling this entire scam, when he was invited and he made that 150 rupees, that's the bait. Do something super simple, send a screenshot and 150 is sent. After that, the 150 he earned, he got a bit of confidence and said, "I have got real 150 cash." this looks legit he joins a group now that group of 20 people all the other 19 were scammers all those screenshots everything was there to build hype for him and he looked at other people thinking it works and you'll also notice he didn't add money to the actual website if you saw the screenshot properly he sent the money to be added to the account to the admin to a savings bank account It's not a real application. He just sent money to someone. And again, the bait was such that he sent back some profits. Again, increasing his confidence, but now in the thousands. And finally, when he deposits a large amount, that's taken away by the scammers. But you know what? The scam doesn't end here because you don't have a checklist. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you and your friends a checklist so you don't fall for these frauds anymore. <clears throat> So, in checklist, the first one is very simple. Thoroughly check the website. You don't just want a pretty looking UI to actually build you confidence. You have to see their contact info, does it exist? Do you know their telephone numbers, the address? Verify it on other websites whether it's actually true or not. Also check out websites like consumer complaints etc to see if any people have complained against this company en masse. The second point in the checklist is too good to be true. I mean think about it. You'll type for 15 minutes or an hour or two and earn 20,000 rupees. Really? I mean anything that's too good to be true especially on the internet probably isn't. Number 3, no qualification check. If this is a part-time job, shouldn't there be an interview process? Shouldn't they be checking documents? Shouldn't they be actually around to make sure that you're the right candidate? How did you start the job so easily? Aise paise baat rahe hain kya? Of course not. Something's wrong here. Number 4, upfront money. If you are going for employment whether part-time or full-time, your job is to work, not give them money to join them. If some company asks for upfront money, don't do that. That's a red flag. And checklist number 5, before you sign anything, please read it. Are they asking for things that could take undue advantage of you? Don't just sign it just like that. Read through it no matter how many pages. We've been trying to de influence for a while now and have covered a lot of scams. If this has ever happened to you, tell me in the comments below and see you in the next episode. The Zero One Fest. It's happening on the 28th of April in Bangalore at Jai Mahal Palace. To get the free passes, you need to prove that you're a Zero One fan. So go to zero one by zero da dot com. Complete the mission and earn your pass. See you there. Ready? Yes. But this one is slightly different. In this one, oh! किसने बताया नहीं अबे दरवाजा है यार? Sorry, मैं बोला अंदर का person will come out. तो गड़बड़ हो गया वो. जब इसका scam हो जाएगा मैं उसके थप्पड़ मार दूँगा इसको भी. Actually मैं नहीं, दूर से तो आट कर देगा. मैं वहाँ के बैठ जाऊँगा. Not his fault. Ah! <laughs>